Well, good afternoon, Peanut. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. Yes, you slept in today. So we only had lunch together. We had some vegetable soup. It was so good. Yes, it was delicious. Yeah, it was delicious. Was it your favorite? I know. It's some, you'd rather have something else. It's cheeseburgers. Yes, cheeseburgers. Yeah. Yeah, but we can't eat cheeseburgers every day. I know that. Okay, so today we're going to talk about love. And what is love? God is love. And we can love others because God loves us. We fail, but God never fails. No, we fail, but with the love of God in our heart, through Jesus Christ, who did get angry, and he threw the tables over, turned them over to leave the sheep and, and animals that they had there. What kind of animals did they have there? Well, they had lambs for the sacrificial uh, holiday that was going on, and sheep, and other things like doves, and probably some cattle, oxen, because they were selling them in the temple. And Jesus said, why are you making God's temple a den of thieves? Yeah, why were they doing that? Because the love of money. Money's not the root of all evil, but the love of the finances, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And Jesus didn't sin. He was angry and he sinned not. But if we don't have love, if we give all our money to the poor, if we prophesy, if we uh, predict the future, that is prophesying, right? I think so. That it is it. That's prophesying. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, it is prophesying. If you know the future, predict the future, speak in tongues, translate tongues, um, give everything you have to the poor, even burn your own body, give it all. And you don't have love. You don't do it for love. You just do it for attention or seeking attention. You're nothing. God is love. And love never fails. God never fails. God never fails. God never fails. Never. I know that. Yes, so we do. We failed in the beginning when God created us and gave us the land of Eden and the garden. Oh, you little garden, yes. Yes, a beautiful garden. And God loves us so much and loved us back then yet already when he created Adam, the first man. And then he took a rib from Adam. First he used dirt of the ground to create Adam. And he breathed, actually breath, into Adam to give him life. Then he wanted a helpmate for Adam, so he created Eve. How did he create Eve? Well, he created Eve from Adam. How did he do that? That's why it's called woman, woe man, from man. God created Eve from Adam, from man. And how did he do that? Yeah, how did he do that? Oh, okay. He took one of Adam's ribs and created Eve. But then when they were in the beautiful garden in the land of Eden, they chose to believe Satan. And we're supposed to put on the full armor of God because Satan has wily, scheming darts. He shoots darts at us. He's like a roaring lion. He's like a roaring lion. Uh-oh. Roar. 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 Yes, he's like a roaring lion. He's roaming around to and fro, seeing who he can deceive, who he can set up to fall, who he can trip up. And we know that the battle is with the spiritual things, not with our flesh and blood. But we are sinners because God loved us. Love. God is love and he loved us so much. How much? That he gave us free will from the beginning to decide to do wrong or not. Because in the middle of the Garden of Eden, was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which started with Satan thinking he was better than God, and he was cast out of heaven. And a third of the angels became demons and went with Satan. Oh, no, that's just terrible. Yes, it is terrible. But God is love, and we see dimly, but God is our creator, and the mediator between us and our creator is Jesus. And guess what? Jesus was crucified on Friday, but he rose on Sunday. He defeated death. 
So there is no victory in death. We have to go through it or be raptured or caught up, whatever that scripture says, or be taken like Enoch or Elijah. Elijah! Yes, that's good. Do it again. Elijah in a chariot of fire. Yes, Elijah was taken in a chariot of fire with what? With him. What was with him? Angels, angels. That's right, angels. So God is love. And we see dimly, so we don't understand it all, but I believe it. So reading the Bible helps me. It's food for the spirit. Because this flesh is dying daily, but the spirit's being renewed daily. You want to be renewed by reading the word of God. What God said. There was a lot of sin. It was, it's about us, the Bible, when we had more than one spouse, when the men had more than one wife and things like that. God is love. And love is so important. God never fails, but we do. We need God. We need the salvation of Jesus, the grace of Jesus to get through this troubles that we have here on this earth. We're not here as part of it. We're just passing through here because we're Jesus's children. We belong to the family of Jesus Christ. Yes, we do. I love it. And I want to sing a song so bad. I want to sing a song too. Let's sing a good song called Faith, Hope, and Charity. Have faith, hope, and charity. Yes, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's do it. Let's sing Faith, Hope, and Charity. Are you ready? You want to sing a little? Then I'll let you sing. You want to sing today, Peanut? Yes, I do. Let's go. Okie dokie. Okay, let's sing. Have faith, hope, and charity. That's the way to live successfully. How do I know? The Bible tells me so. Don't worry about tomorrow, just be real good today. The Lord is right beside you, He'll guide you all the way. Have faith, hope, and charity, that's the way to live successfully. How do I know the Bible tells me so? I'm so glad you can still love me, Peanut. No matter how grouchy I am, no matter how much I get hangry, because I want to eat. If I don't eat at a certain time, I get so hangry and grouchy, and I take it out on you. But I love you, and I never want to take it out on you. But there's days when I'm grouchy, and I'm a real mean, nasty person. But I don't want to be... I want the joy of the Lord to be my strength and to put on the full armor of God. Protect me from the wily darts of Satan. And the battle isn't with the flesh and blood. We know that we're passing through here. We know there's trouble. We know there's going to be trials and tribulation and even death. And it hurts to see our loved ones die and go through pain and suffering and sickness and illnesses in this world. But we have, we can comfort each other because we have a future with Jesus. We have a future. He defeated death. There is no victory in it. And we can sing about that. And God is love. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could do. will lift you because God is love and without love no matter what you do you're like a clanging symbol unless you have Jesus the grace of the Lord wonderful grace of Jesus greater than all my sin how can my tongue contain it where shall my song begin so we're going to end the show today saying please love one another you don't have to love the sin God does not love our sin no there's things he hates like someone who sows discord among the brethren 
or the family of God, the family of Jesus Christ. We have to love, though, show love and be like Jesus. He'll carry us through like the footprints in the sand. So just keep singing, dancing, making music, and having fun as much as possible. That's right. Do you want to sing it out? Have faith, hope, and charity. That's the way to live successfully. How do I know? And I will tell thee so.